constitutional delay of growth and puberty. It is a variant of normal growth that is characterized by a period of slower than expected height velocity and delayed puberty. The child's birth weight and length are normal, but between 3 and 6 months of age there is a greater than normal downshift in growth rate. By 3 to 4 years of age, these children are usually growing at a low to normal rate. Their growth curve remains at or below the 3rd percentile for much of the remainder of their childhood. The child eventually goes through a rapid growth spurt, crossing percentiles, and eventually reaching an appropriate adult height, that is, a height within the range of their genetic potential. The characteristic growth curve of children with constitutional delay of growth in puberty begins normal, then dips to the 3rd percentile or just beneath it. It then remains there for much of middle childhood before increasing while crossing several percentiles. Notice that the relatively consistent stretch in the middle remains parallel to the growth curve at the 3rd percentile. Family history often reveals that a parent, commonly referred to as a late bloomer, also had delayed growth in puberty. Delayed skeletal age is a hallmark finding. Radiographic studies of the left hand and wrist show that the bone age is delayed for the child's chronological age. So with these children, their height age is less than their chronological age, which simply means that they are shorter than would be expected for their age. Their bone age is also less than their chronological age, but consistent with their height age meaning that the child's height is actually appropriate for the current level of skeletal development. Knowledge of the child's bone age can be used to both confirm the diagnosis and estimate the child's final height. Growth and pubertal advancement must be monitored. Head circumference in particular is relatively spared, so any significant changes in head circumference should be investigated.